Hi, and welcome to Timigate. So I made a post on this, on how to stop distributed denial of service attack uh, via the SSH port using a micro ticket. And a lot of people have been, uh, have been getting some positive review on it. So I decided to make this uh, a short video on it, on how you can stop this. So uh, I have a, a micro tick router with a live IP. Okay, the live IP is actually assigned to the LAN port, so I'm logged in via the one. And uh, if you have such uh, a router, and all you need to do is come to log, click on log, and you will see a series of all these messages. Okay, you see these messages, they are quite much, as you can see, these are uh, so many IPs that are trying to uh, have access to the router via the SSH uh, uh, line. And uh, you see, as you can see, today is 4th of January 2018. And just uh, from 7.39, a lot of these have happened. Okay. You might say you have a very good password set up on your router. That's okay. It's good. It's going to be stopping. It's just like men is doing. But this is taking so much overhead on your router resources. So you need to find a way to stop this from even getting to your router. What is happening here is a brute force attack. People are using brute force, like an application, Tina Neighbor also, to try to generate thousands of passwords per minute to see if they can actually guess right to get access to your uh, system. If they succeed in doing so, so they can, uh, they, they may end up taking over your router until you pay a certain amount or they take it down actually, which is known as denial service attack. Okay. So, in order to make sure that that doesn't happen, or if you have a very good password setup that your router doesn't get its processor eaten up by all these things, then you need to change the SSH port. Once you do that, uh, it's going to make sure that these uh, attempted attacks do not get to your system, okay, let alone asking for your name and password. So, how do we do that? It is quite simple to change the port number from the default 22 to something else. All you need to do is go to new terminal over here at new terminal you type ip then you say service okay and then what service you say we set service what service are we setting is ssh okay then when i say port ssh port should be equal to instead of the 22 we can change it to something else that we remember okay this should be something that you definitely need to remember because next time you're going to log on to that router okay via ssh you need to choose this port i'm setting now okay if you are using a default port then when you're logging in the system knows that it is 22 so you don't need to set the port to use the port on the application so but you if you are changing the port here just know the port number so the next time if you want to log on to the router via ssh you should be able to uh, remember the port number so this is all you need to do you just click, type ip service set ssh port equals to 222 we need to check if you want to check if this has taken effect if you want to check if we have really changed the port you can simply come to uh ip and you go to services all right and then you can see the port here and then right now you, you should be able to see that the one for ssh has been changed to 222 uh 2002 while you can see that the other ones are still at the default, FTP is still 21 and Wimbos is still 8291. You can also change that of Wimbos as well to make sure that nobody tries to log on to your router using Wimbos with the default port number. So this port number is only known to you. Okay, once you change it, the port number will be known only to you and that's a, a, a good way of securing your router. The one for HTTP can also be changed here too. So that's how quick and easy it is for you to change uh, your port and have uh, your system secured. As you can see on the log here now, these messages are no longer coming. Okay? If I log out of this router and I log back in again, I won't see these messages. So that's how quick and easy it is for you to do that. Thanks for watching. And please, please, please subscribe to Timigate. Okay? Also visit my blog at timigate.com. All right? Here's the blog here timigate.com where i post a lot of things on microtech on cisco computers and phones okay so all you need to do is visit this blog and come over to here and then use the subscription button here to subscribe to my youtube channel 
follow on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Okay, we have lots and lots and lots of information here for you. Okay, so many things on Microtik, on the Windows. See, as you can see here, load balancing using eBGP on Microtik, HS Sarup treated, and this particular video that I made now is on this post that has been made here before. And a whole whole lot of them on the IP version 6 to 4 tunneling, uh, nine things you should do to have your microtic router secured and how to enable IP version 6 on microtic and just so many of them. Okay, so thanks for watching and please 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 stay with us. Bye.